I think if we would have been in that one, we could not have this interview. Uh, yeah. uh, good afternoon. I'm here in the Ratanakoshin area in Bangkok, in front of the museum, the Siam. And today it's going to be all about transport. And I'm going to try out a relatively new system here in Bangkok, which is MoveMe. And Move Me is an app where you can order an electrical tuk-tuk. So this is the Move Me tuk-tuk. I've seen them a lot actually in the Chulalongkorn University area. And let me explain a little bit how it works. You can download the Move Me app from the App Store on your phone. Open the app and click on the icon on the top left corner of your screen. Here you will find your wallet. There are several options to add your credit. I used my credit card to top up 100 baht. After I paid my first ride, I got an extra 50 Thai baht bonus. Now you can choose your pickup location and destination. Confirm your trip and the tuk-tuk will come and pick you up. Once the tuk-tuk arrives, you can scan the barcode to pay for your ride. There's an option where you can choose how many people will be in your trip. You can also choose for a private tuk-tuk. If you opt for one person, there might be a possibility that other people will join you along the road. But this makes the trip a lot cheaper. This is by far the cheapest way of transport in Bangkok besides the local bus. The areas that are serviced now by MoveMe are Yawarat, Chula Samya, Ratanakosin, Ari Pradipat, Pahal Yonti, Asok Nana and there will be much more in the future. I will add a reference code from Global Travel Aid that you can use when you download the MoveMe app. This reference code will give you a bit of an extra discount. So I'm here with Kun Anavat. Hi, how's it going? Hey, hello. And uh, we will call him Kun A from <laughs> now on because that's more easy. So uh, uh, Kun A, can you tell me how uh, how it works actually? Yeah, sure, sure. So this, uh, this tuk-tuk is like a fully electric tuk-tuk. So we have, our company is called Urban Mobility Tech, UMT. Okay. We have two services. Uh, we have tuk-tuk hub and move me service. Okay. So today we're going to be showing the tuk-tuk hub service. Basically, it's mainly catered for tourists, so you can hop around uh, different tourist you know, spots in the historic island Ratanakosin. So we're going to start here at the Museum de Siam and then we're going to first go and check out the Wat Po. Wat Po, yeah. Yes, because uh, Wat Po has been closed for ages. So let's go. So I can see there are seats for six people. You can fold them down. <laughs> Okay. So Kun A contacted me. Hi. So uh, you are, uh, how you say it? You you know the channel already, right? Yeah, I watch uh, <laughs> I watch a lot of videos. That's a really lot. cool. That's <laughs> really cool. But you are uh, you are born in in Bangkok? Yeah, yeah, born in. Bangkok. Okay, so that's I mean I always like it when when people from Bangkok are also following me. You know? Yeah, yeah, I like your videos a lot, especially the bike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the different paths. So we just arrived here at the Wat Po. We're not going to go inside because this uh, video is all about the, the ride share. And um, so with Move Me, I noticed uh, when I downloaded the app, there is uh, a possibility to ask for a whole tuk-tuk or you can say I'm going to go with one or two people or three people. So how does it work if I, I mean, what should I choose? Um, so like if you want to like, you know, pay less and you are going in a direction that's popular, you can share with other users. Okay. So you can select one, you know, and then uh, usually if it's not that popular, you select one, you'll get lower price and no one will come in Tuk Tuk anyways. Yeah. But then uh, our special feature with, with this, you know, moving system is you can share the ride with other people. Okay. And it will reduce the cost. So if on the way somebody's waiting on one of the stops, yep. then, then they will join into your yeah, Tuk Tuk. Yeah, they can join if they call the... But it will never be more than six anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. To be honest, like, personally, I have never like, like, I've never experienced like ride sharing. But if you use it very often, yeah, you might be able. You know, we might have two or three um, people, especially like in Chula or University okay. areas. You might have, you know, uh, in this, many people going the same exact, you know, drop off. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so how long does this uh, Move Me exist? So I believe Move Me started around um, early 2019, roughly. Okay. Yeah, this is a great area for this uh, for this app. And for example, I saw that uh, from Sanam Chai towards the Wat Po was about 12 baht. So if you do it, uh, if you do the ride sharing, 
And I saw if you take the the, the whole tuk tuk, it's like 32, but it, it's way cheaper than a normal tuk tuk because yes, yes. you will never get 12 baht for a normal tuk tuk. Normal tuk tuk can vary. Yeah, exactly. Well, and, and you always have to negotiate. So here we are on the outside of the Grand Palace again. If you remember, a couple of weeks ago I uh, I biked here, but uh, to be honest, this is a bit more comfortable. <laughs> No, I think it's brilliant. And how uh, how long can a tuk-tuk like this drive on one uh, battery? Um, so it depends on how the driver drives as well. Yeah. But usually we have uh, the battery can it has 10 kilowatt hours. So if the driver you know drives 10 kilometers in per kilowatt hour, yeah. about 100, maybe you could say 70, 80 kilometers. In, okay, yeah. so so for a day trip, it's more than enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as we, long as it's yes. in this area and here. Move me the way we split it up in different areas. Every area has like a charging has multiple charging stations okay so that's why we have area so that you know in that small radius you can go and charge you can travel travel so the tuk tuk doesn't have to worry about going far you know? okay yeah. okay that makes sense and and how many tuk tuks are there at the moment right now in the whole fleet there are about 100 tuk tuks for movement. okay and is this expanding or yeah we are, we are expanding we are so this, you it's hear, very loud sorry you hear the difference with the old one <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. I think if we would have been in that one, we could not have this interview. Uh, yeah, especially if it was modified too. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so for the expansion, we're planning like um, end of next year to expand to 1,000. Okay. Cars around as one wow. Of so we're thinking to make it fast because the demand is definitely there. Yes. It's just we have to keep up with that uh, demand. Okay. So, yeah, it's very, I think a lot of people, like they, a lot of um, workers, you know, around Thailand, uh, and also tourists, they want to use this. Yes. But sometimes the waiting time is a little long. Okay. So we, 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 our plans to definitely reduce that. I saw that there is like a recommendation oh, code or something. Yep. Yep. What does that mean for the people who download the app? And what does it mean for me? For our code, you can use yes. it to uh, basically you will get like a discount for yourself and okay. also for the, for the person you recommend it. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember the exact amount of discount, but it's like. You know, it's similar to okay, but it's, benef it's beneficial. Yeah. So if somebody downloads the app and uses my code, they, they will get a, they will a bit get of a, a discount, discount as well. Yep. Okay? <laughs> you hear that, guys? Download the app. <laughs> so here you have the big constructions. Yeah, this is the, the, the Grand Palace, the Wat Prakau, which opened on the 1st of November. So uh, we are now on the 13th, I think. So it's been open for a little while again. And I'm actually planning to go here very soon because I realized this is the best moment to come here now. Actually, this is the whole thing with, with Bangkok at the moment, with, with so little tourism, which is really bad for the country. And I'm not gonna say that I enjoy that, but the only good thing about that is that we can visit everything yeah. very easily now yep. and also enjoy this like kind of... Uh, um, yeah, where we go? Uh, ah, can we go to Khao San? By Khao San. Sure, sure. <laughs> Why not? Easy. That's close. This is funny. This is a what friend is of mine. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can we stop? Yep, sure. So look who okay, we are yeah, meeting yeah. here. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> so we're in the middle of our tuk-tuk drive and I don't want to... Mr. Hey. Bangkok Pat, how are you? <laughs> this is cool to see you, man. You too. Well, are you working? Cool. I'm Oh, Yeah, yeah, I actually got a lot of it. I'm my own now. You're on now. No, no, but it's not live. It's not live. Don't worry. Okay. No, we are doing a, a move me. This is an electrical tuk tuk. Oh, and uh, this is really cool, man. I mean, we're making the whole tour and we just drive in here. And who do we see? Mr. Fantastic. Bangkok Pat. <laughs> okay, so a part of taking a move me is uh, having a get together with, uh, with Bangkok Pat. It was really yeah. good to see you again, man. You too. Been a long time. We, see, we are going to do a video together we soon. We keep saying it. Yeah? We are. We no, but now we're going to do it because I, it's now on, on record here. Yeah? yeah. Okay, so see you. Hi to, uh, to Pete and the Roman church. I will, I will. I like that guy. Yeah. Okay, cool. See I'll ya. See you later. Take care. So, we're gonna get back into the tuk tuk. A part of the Ratanakasin area is also Khao San here. And at the moment, Khao San is a bit quiet. Because, of course, this is all gonna change when, uh, when the country is gonna open up more soon. And we're gonna go now in the direction of the Dusit area. So basically, if you if you take a tuk tuk in this area, you can use it all the way from from Sanam Chai then, yep. all the way up to Dusit. Yeah. 
Chinatown is also included. So the whole island plus Tusit and uh, Yaura Chinatown. Okay, ah, that's cool. The Tuk Tuk Hop, it will cost you $3.99 for one day. Yep. Uh, for one person and it's up to six people yep. and then it's 8 99 yes. if you have six people right but if you're one person you can do 3 99 and then you have how long how long can you travel uh, full day and then the hours are 8 30 to 6. global travel it gives a thumbs up <laughs> <laughs> So this is the the headquarters of the UN. Just we just passed the headquarters of the UN, and a lot of people that work at the UN they they come from Sugumit, for example. Yeah. So is it possible to cross areas with the movement? Um. So from it depends. So I think Ho Chula, Samyan, and Rakhina Crossing you can. So if you yes. go Ho Lumpur, you wanna go Ch Chitlom. There you can cross because yeah. it's quite close. Yeah, yeah. But if you wanna go from Sukhumvit, for example, it will be a little bit tougher. Okay. Because Sukhumvit, you have to go to Chola first, and then there's a gap between. I think I like and Nana. There's, okay. There they don't have Nana is like the closest. Yeah, um, yeah, I stop. get it. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. might have to travel another. So the areas that are connected with each other that that should be fine. Yep. But it's not. I mean, it's not meant to bring you to the other side of town. Yeah, it's, it's meant to 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 transport you transport around that area. Yeah. These are all new gates that have been constructed here. And this is the, yeah, we call it the Dusit Palace. So here you have the statue of King Rama V, Paramha. So this is about the northern part of the Ratanakosin area, and then the next area will be the Ari. Ari is actually where our main office is located. Okay. Have you been here before? I've actually never seen it like this up close. No? Like this close. I've been in there. I mean, oh, oh, actually, uh, like, like seven or eight years ago, you could go wow. in there, but it's not possible. And they're anymore. constructing something new as well yes. here too. Yeah. So one of the destinations that you can do if you have the day pass of the Tuk Tuk Hop is as well the Golden Mount. So as you can see, it's uh, it gives you a great overview of everything that you can do here in the Ratanakosin area, in the area, the old town of Bangkok and from the top of the Golden Mount you have a great view of the whole city we're not gonna go up there now because I'm having a lazy day so we are here at the end of our tour and this is the parking space where the tuk-tuks are getting charged these are the charging station and how long does it take to charge one so we actually have our two charging stations one is slow charge okay and fast charge okay fast charge is as quick as tesla so you can go from like minimum battery to max in like 30 minutes wow. okay so i downloaded the the move me app and that works really well and uh, i can see me using that in the future as well and i think i'm gonna try and make some more videos actually like that i think that would be a really cool thing and uh, it's much more safe than on a bicycle <laughs> so but i will still I will still do bicycles, don't worry about that. So the um, Tuk Tuk Hop, the app is not working properly yet, right? Yep, yeah, we're still developing it. Okay, so, but if somebody wants to use the service, how can they get in touch so now? So you can go to the Tuk Tuk Hop website, and okay. then you can go and call the customer service number. Okay. And then basically you can book a private tour. So one day full tour, you can go wherever you want, inclusive price. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, you can do whatever in uh, Ratanakosin. Okay, so I will put the contact details on the description of this video, and then I will also put the prices in there. And uh, yeah, I mean, look, you can uh, you can go up to six people in this tuk tuk, and uh, I think it's brilliant. It's uh, eco friendly, and uh, the service is good. Uh, it's fast. And it's the perfect way to get around this area and it's much cheaper than if you would do this individual with yeah. taxis or tuk-tuks. So I want to thank you so much for inviting me. Yep. And uh, well, well, I'm sure I'm going to meet you again. <laughs> and yep. uh, sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to subscribe, drop me a line and see you guys in my next uh, video. I'm here at the side of MBK in front of the new Siamscape. And I'm gonna try my move me today and I have to go to the pickup area over there and I just filled in all the details. I wanna go to the Samyan Midtown. So I'm trying to move me out by myself now. 
and the prices are just really good. I mean, it's 24 baht, and the normal starting price of a regular taxi is already 35. So let's wait for the move me, and I think I have to wait about eight or nine minutes. So my move me is arriving here. So the first thing that I have to do is I have to scan to pay. Starting up. So after I scanned it here, yeah. yeah, okay, I can go and take the tuk tuk. So there's a, a bit of traffic here, but I have to say honestly, I, I really like the system, and uh, I'm gonna go now to the Samyan Midtown for only 24 baht which is uh, way cheaper than any way of transport I can get here or maybe a motorcycle can be around the same price but um, very interesting so I opted I chose for the shared option where I'm the I just put in that I'm with one person as you can hear it's uh, very quiet A invited me to come and try this out and I am genuinely impressed by it and I really like it and I'm definitely gonna use it a lot myself the only drawback for now what I can see is that it takes a little bit longer to wait for the move me to arrive but I think that will be a problem that will be fixed in the future because their fleet will be ten times bigger so they will have more cars there's another movie going so I'm almost at my destination I'm very excited about this project I want to be clear that this is not a sponsored video so I'm not getting paid for this and uh, I just genuinely think that this is a cool project and I'm happy to be part of the promotion of it and I want to thank Anafat for that thank you for uh, getting me involved in this and for all you followers i hope you enjoyed this update if you did feel free to subscribe drop me a line you know i will keep you informed about bangkok and see you guys in my next uh, video